Beijing is not panicking about slowing domestic growth and markets are wrong to expect broad credit and fiscal support for the economy. The latest credit and investment data, in addition to drip-fed stimulus measures announced over the weekend and earlier this week, in addition to our recent trip to Beijing, highlight the fact that central authorities remain focused on financial risk control and deleveraging. September credit data says monetary policy remains neutral. Shadow banking, as measured by bill financing trust and entrusted loans, has continued to contract, falling 6.3% year-over-year year in 2018. In contrast, on-balance sheet lending has maintained a moderate level of growth at 12% year-over-year. Year. We think monetary policy will remain neutral and that given the likely protracted nature of China-US confrontation, Beijing will continue to utilise sustainable support measures that will boost short-term and long-term growth. Given these considerations, we place Beijing's stimulus options in order of preference as first and foremost targeted tax cuts, followed by direct support to research and development and advanced manufacturing. Infrastructure spending will remain a favourite policy choice. However, aggressive credit growth, including non-bank financing and broad-based easing in the property sector, will remain stimulus options of last resort. With modest, sustainable stimulus measures in place, we expect adjusted total social financing to reach 13% year-over-year growth, which will in turn cause a pickup to investment spending of about 5 to 10% year-over-year. This will enable Q4 GDP to come in just under 6.5%.